An important tax credit is expiring in a few months, one that will affect how our cities and towns grow in the future. It's called the Historic Tax Credit. Many businesses throughout the state have benefited from it. ABC 6 News reporter Devin Martin shows us why some say it's necessary and what one senator is doing to save it. We take great pride in being able to take these buildings that maybe are being cast off or not being looked at as valuable any, anymore and providing great value and renovating them to something that's going to last for another generation. This is the Conley Moss Downs building in downtown Rochester, home to Blue Duck Kitchen, Collider Co-working, and now soon to be Google. This building was the first in Olmsted County to receive funding from the historic tax credit. And the purpose, it's an incentive to renovate historic buildings. Mike says the tax credit is helping to create jobs. These renovation projects take a lot of labor. And if a local contractor or a team of local contractors is selected, that's a lot of local labor hours, which turns into jobs. The University of Minnesota says the historic tax credit has created over 18,000 jobs here in Minnesota. And in Rochester, $11.50 is generated for every $1 of tax credit. Meaning for projects like the Conley Moss Downs, the investment paid off. $6.7 million have been generated as of 2018. But if the historic tax credit isn't renewed, some people are worried. Not only will we end up with higher vacancy rates in cities like Rochester and other places all over the state, but we'll lose buildings. Minnesota Senator Carla Nelson is chair of the tax committee. She supports the historic tax credit, but because of the pandemic, she says the tax budget is already tight. Think of this like a puzzle. Senator Nelson is trying to figure out how all the pieces fit together. My goal will be to figure out how to continue that tax credit uh, at the same time, knowing that we have many of these other pressures to uh, make sure that we have the tax credit on the PPP loans and that we don't tax those unemployment insurance benefits. Making sure no building gets left behind. In Rochester, Devin Martin, ABC6 News.